Okay, uh, so this little guide is going to show you briefly how to do levels, quick, how to make different levels. So what I have done is I've got my crab character, I've got a tick, just my crab is going to go and get the tick, and in my backdrops I've got two different backdrops, so I've got Arctic and Castle 2. And what I want to do is I want the crab to collect, get the tick, and when it gets the tick, the tick's going to jump somewhere else, and then we are going to be on level two and the background is going to change. Okay, there are a lot more complicated ways to do levels, okay, but this is the basic way of doing different levels. So what I'm gonna say is this, I'm gonna go my crab. So on my crab, I've already put the coding that lets me move left and right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say on button four, when, when we click this, okay, we're going to do forever, if, now if we're touching the crab, okay, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to firstly <coughs> send out a broadcast, okay, hopefully you're noticing a lot with these skills, we're using broadcasts a lot. So we're going to broadcast level two, and then going to go to a random position. When I sent out level two on the backdrop, I'm going to say when I receive uh, level two, um, I'm going to switch my backdrop, which is under looks. So I'm going to switch to castle two. Okay, so it becomes a new and different level. Okay, so now when I run the game, I play it, I touch that. Okay, this is still going to go random, but it's already switched to the level 2 background. Okay, there are slightly more complicated ways of doing it, where you use a variable as well and you tell it which level you're on. So we can say, if it's level 2, do this. If it's level 3, do this. Now, the way to do that... If I get a new background, um, let's get the farmyard for instance. I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call that variable level. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to do the following. I'm going to start, so when this is clicked, I'm going to set level to level one. Okay. I am going to go further if touching crab. Okay, but I'm going to put another if inside there. Okay, I'm going to put two ifs in fact. I'm going to put if it's touching the crab and level equals level one. Okay, so I want to get my level. So if it's touching the crab, and then it will check. If level is level one, then we're going to broadcast level two and go to a random position and change the level by one to be level two. And then I'm going to duplicate that again. If it touches it and it's level two, it's going to change level by one again. Okay, it's going to go to run random position, but it's going to broadcast level three. Okay, and if it's level three on here, I'm going to duplicate this, it's when it receives level three, it's going to change it to the farmyard. Okay, and just to make things a lot easier, we'll say when we click this, uh, we'll switch the backdrop to start in the Arctic. So I click this, <coughs> we're in the Arctic, we're in level one. I get the tick. Now, now this is where the problem occurred because it jumped straight to level three. So what we're going to have to do is put a weight in there as well, which is a bit annoying. Okay, we're going to have to put a weight so it's not touching for that long. So we have to wait one second here, and wait one second here. So now when we run it, it's level two, level three. Start going level one, level two, and then we're going to level three. 
Okay. Now clearly, I've put one out of C of level two goes to the 